The first thing you will notice is the spinal cord has two well-defined areas. The first is the white area around the outside which we call the white matter. The white matter is mainly composed of axons and the cells that support axons. The second is the grey matter which is the central butterfly shaped area which is where the cell bodies of the neurons reside. Other notable features include dorsal median sulcus which is on the back or dorsal side of the cord. The ventral median fissure which is the larger groove at the front or ventral side of the spinal cord. The central canal runs down from the center of the spinal cord. Cerebrospinal fluid or CSF runs through the central canal. Let's look at some other features of the spinal cord. Nerve axons run up or down the spinal cord in bundles known as fasciculi. The first two fasciculi that we will look at travel in these areas at the back of the spinal cord and these are known as gracile and cuneate fasciculi. Collectively, they are known as dorsal column. The primary function of the dorsal column is to convey the sense of fine touch and proprioception. Just to clarify, there is a left-sided function and a right-sided function of each pathway, but for explanation, we are only considering one side. Off to the side, we have lateral corticospinal tract, which carries limb motor or limb movement information. And along the ventral median fissure, we have the ventral corticospinal tract, and this carries motor information to the axial muscles. To the side, we have lateral spinothalamic tract which conveys pain and temperature sensation. At the front, we have anterior spinothalamic tract which carries crude touch sense from the body to the brain. And here we have decussation of tracts known as the anterior right commissure. A decussation is where axons cross from the left side of the body to the right side or vice versa.